That's what that was one of the guys they picked. Oh Definitely. my god! You wanted to like like borderline stalker. I like called basic. him a gnome, and it wasn't well received. Um, this is the Cats and Pudding podcast, <laughs> a melting pot of pudding. And now here's Jen. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Cats and Pudding. And my name is Jennifer Delangio, and welcoming my guest, Alyssa Anderson. Look at this gorgeous girl. Oh my God. Thank you so much you for are, having me. You make me. me feel like I shouldn't even like have got out of bed today to ah! even stand next to you. Like, oh my, you're just like a vision. Oh my God, you're so sweet. I knocked back like 10 last night and I look like actual <laughs> ass, but thank you so much. Well, you don't look like, you don't look anything near ass. You look <laughs> like the most beautiful ass that I've probably, that anybody's ever seen. Like an injected ass? Like an, in, better. Oh, better. That's the highest compliment. Yes. Thank you so like much. Like a Mel Gibson ass. Like that's <laughs> like a beautiful ass, like that. Like, but you know, girl version. I appreciate that. Thank you. Beautiful. So tell me. I want to know about all about you. I know you are, listen, I know you're on a show called The One That Got Away, and I hear that you are the villain on the show. Well, I'm one of the villains. There were a lot of us. No, no, no. I heard you were the villain. Oh, was I no, the, no, no. was I, I that yes, girl? Yes, you were the girl. Was you I were the drama? Girl. Yes, you were the drama. I heard it, and I heard it from a little birdie <laughs> over here. I heard it from a little birdie. Well, the little me. birdie sounds like a jealous bitch. <laughs> um... <laughs> So I was definitely one of the more polarizing figures okay. on the show just because there were a lot of things that I said and did that okay. were construed in a way that was, like, bitchy. And look, when you watch back some of those moments and, like, a lot of people don't realize there was, like, a year of lag time between us ending the show and the show coming out. So a lot of that is, like, you know— you, do, you forget some of the things you say. You forget what happened. And watching yourself objectively like that can really just wake you up and make you be like, oh, I'm kind of a bitch. And <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of a you pivotal moment You just woke up this one morning and realized you were a bitch. I knew I was a bitch my whole life. I mean, I knew that. I, but I, I'm, nice, I'm, yeah. I'm a nice bitch. See, but don't mess with me. Like, if you mess with me, I'm the nicest person in the world. Like, I'll I'll give you the shirt off my back. But once you step over, like, the uh, shame on you, fuck me once, shame on me, fuck me twice. Amen, sister. That's it, sister. Then you do not want to go down that road with me. <laughs> that is the worst road to go down. You know what? My it's favorite, not a yellow brick road. My favorite quote from um, the movie Dolores Claiborne is oh like— Oh, my God, I love that movie. Sometimes but, the, the, the best right. thing— a woman what could uh, the best the 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 best thing a woman. Sometimes could, being a bitch, bitch is all a woman, woman has, has left. left. Sometimes you need a high riding, be a high riding bitch yeah. in this world to survive. Yes, yes. I love that. Yes. Saying. yes, oh, I love it. It's, it's it's all that a woman has to hold on to. Oh, that's the quote. Uh, being a high riding bitch is all, but I would hope that that wouldn't be the case all the time. No, even though I love being a high riding bitch a lot yeah. of times, I do. Some, and, because most people, some people deserve it. They yeah, do. yeah, some people they do. do. They do, um, and they're asking for it. A lot they of do. people, what a lot of They're people get, yes, yes, a lot of people get very, very weirded out when I say this, but for most of my life, I've been accused of being too nice, right? But I could see you being nice, though. I I, I feel that because some yeah. people could think um, I, they, they get the uh, uh, impression of me that I could be, you know, well, because I'm very boisterous and I'm and I'm you know I'm very upfront mm -hmm. you know they could take me either way they could see but I'm like I'm like I have a very soft heart and I can yeah. see that I could I could feel that about you that you have that way yeah. but don't mess it's, with you it's true don't yes. mess with you don't cross me and also um you know you and you know it's mostly jealousy why people mess with you right you know it's because you you that's are really you that's really sweet I didn't but say it. I just true. wanted to be on the record no, I didn't I say said it. it. I said it. She said it. No, I do I come totally from a mom, it. though, and I feel like the girlies who get it, get it. A mom <laughs> who was like, if people are mean to you, they're just jealous, and I feel like that just changed, that makes you a different type of girl. You it know does, I mean? and that's what I, I have three girls, and that's what I tell my girls. Yes. I, and it's so true, and it, it is, and they're, they're, I said, I tell my girls that if they're mean to you, <clears throat> and the people have a problem with you, it's 99% because they're jealous of you. Amen. And that's, and because I, Listen, we've all gone through it in our lives. Exactly. Girls, girls suck. They do. They really suck. Especially like, mm. yeah. I won't say it. I won't say it. You could say it. You're allowed. Go ahead. Say I won't it. say it. Especially if, like, when a lot of girls are like, oh, you stole my boyfriend. But, like, was he really your boyfriend? If you could be stolen. If honestly, you could be stolen. That easily. 
Oh, would you want him if he could be stolen that easily? No, like, you probably don't want him anyways. Right, exactly. Like, dude, you can have him if you want him that bad. Exactly. Like, that's, that, you know, like, I, you want him? Go ahead. You can, yeah. take my, you can take my scraps. I don't care. Yeah, and certainly in reality TV, that's that's got its... It's got whole its perks. perks. It's got its perks and it's got its drawbacks, of course. But so tell I want to hear one situation, a really good situation where you can say they could somebody could say that, give you that title villain. I want to hear about about that situation. Title villain. Yes. Like See, one situation that on the show that ha, well, how it that, that they would they would they would brand you the villain. Um, see, it's hard for me to be objective just because, like, I... Well, give me your favorite scene that you that you thought, you know, it was a great... You had a great comeback, you know, or, or that somebody deserved uh, it. You know, my great comebacks didn't actually make it. <laughs> and they were bad. <laughs> to be fair, a lot of people are like, you got a bad edit. The edit was 100% fair. Like, I was actually worse. And to was a it, lot of people, it's probably that we're gonna, Was it something that you said that could be construed as not being, should I say politically correct? Or oh, should I say, um, I hate to use that word. You know, I definitely. I think politically correct means to me people need to get over themselves and get a sense of humor. Yeah. It's, like if you can't laugh at yourself, man, then you got issues. Laugh at yourself. People are too soft these days. Exactly. And I think that if you saw. And I saw, like that about you because you're not like that, yeah, your generation. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're like too, because you were raised by a strong woman. So that's good. So exactly. You know, that's why. And, you know, I think that a lot of people can take it or leave it. Like, right. I like being able to have people who either love me or hate me. There's not, like, a lot of room for gray There's no area. Room Very few people are neutral. Yes. And I like knowing where I stand with well, people, Well, would you too. really want neutrality? Because, honestly, people yeah. who are neutral are kind of flaky. They're ambivalent. I yeah. look at them ambivalent people. I look at them that they just Neutrality don't to me is like a flaccid penis. It's just yes. useless. <laughs> It's useless. Why would so I need useless. that? I don't need it. It's get out. <laughs> or a credit card with a limit. Like, exactly. It's, useless. it's totally loose, right? Thank you. So I agree with you. But yes, well, the one instance where I was not totally PC, mm -hmm. um, and I will I will take 100% credit for it, whatever. Um, you know, in interview after I was visited by a, a visitor who I didn't what know kind from of a visitor? campaign. Like an alien? Like, well, what, okay. Like so so he didn't it? watch the show. Says. It's basically the premise is. <laughs> oh, I watched the show. I oh, saw yes, yes, it. yes. I yes. I, I'm not going to lie. I didn't watch all of it. It's a lot of, I can't, of hours well, of I, I Listen, I, I don't have a problem with reality TV. I've been on, I've been on a few shows. I, some shows I just can't watch all the way through. Some, yeah, some of it is a lot for me. I, I get I, that, you know, and I just don't have the attention span. Sometimes I'm like a ferret, like on crack when I'm home. Like I have to, like, oh you know, my god, I can watch literally. something for like ten minutes, and then I got to get up and do something else. So it's like I, it, for me to sit down and watch something and have that attention span, it takes a lot. So literally. it's not just it's, and you really have to hold my attention for me to do that. But that's just yeah. me because I'm not like that. But I have seen the show and I've seen <laughs> episodes because we have a mutual friend. Yes. And, of course. Yes. And I have ADHD too. So like I didn't watch yeah. the entire thing either. But it's probably hard to watch yourself too sometimes, right? Do you feel oh, like when you look at yourself, you're like cringe? Because like, I, I mean like, you probably don't cringe at yourself because you're too beautiful to cringe at yourself. Oh like, no. Of course probably, there's moments. Like you could be like not showered for like two weeks and like have the worst bad breath and like <laughs> your toenails could look like like razors, like you would still look good. It wouldn't no, matter. definitely there were moments in the show where I look back and I'm like, oh. And I get it because like I doubt that. From I the beginning. I can never see that you would say, oh, my God, I look bad. Like oh, that, I did. No. Never. Oh, trust me. I'm sorry. Oh, trust me. Never. After, like, day one. I don't believe it. I, I, I got over that. doing my makeup and hair. I was over it. I didn't want to, like, do everything. We got, like, three hours of sleep per night. Like, it was cold all the time. I was Why drunk. Why was it cold all the time? I don't think it's a secret. I was drunk most of it. <laughs> And, you know, after a while, you're like, okay, like, my hair is sticking up. Whatever. Like, like, well, at this point, you know, it is reality TV. Yeah. And that's where I think a lot of reality TV these days loses sight. When we when it started, when I was younger, it was hardcore. Like, oh, that yeah. was it. That It was real. Mm -hmm. Now, things are scripted. Everybody's got to look good. You never see the, you ever see a progression of reality star when they first come on the first season to, like, the third or fourth season and what they yeah, look like? Yeah, and then like, they're dude, not relatable you, Then anymore. they're not relatable anymore because they, become, they have that air about them. It's like, Dude, you're still a D list person. You're not Angelina Jolie. You're not an A list actor. Like, you're a reality exactly. star. You're not an actor. Like, you're just. 
Yeah. You're just a person who got lucky because you got picked out of a line of people. Like, that's it. Like, yeah. anybody. And I find that a lot of people, I don't know if you find this, who do become famous through reality TV, they don't know how to handle it. Because when, no. when you give somebody that fame and they're just a regular person, it's very, very hard to handle. Oh, I, I think you handled it with, with, with ease, though. Well, you want to know what, what's interesting? Because you are I a find too. I was and never famous before. <laughs> But Listen. you, you know what? But there's, but there's different people that command attention, and you can handle it. So there's a difference. So that there's certain. You're type blowing of people, so much smoke up my ass. But it's true. I love That's it. That's what it is. There's a certain type of person who can handle it. If you're used to listen, I don't have to be. Listen, I didn't have to be on TV to command attention and be in the center of attention. Oh, I know. I always honey. made myself the center. Oh, of attention. Oh, that's clear, honey. Are so, you seeing yeah, yourself? And so I don't. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need any so help just like, getting attention, baby. Do you, but that's what I'm saying. So somebody like you or me could handle that. Like somebody who just gets thrusted upon it's like you know let's 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 face yes it, and i was just talking it. about this earlier like for some reason i don't know what it is people who go on reality tv and get the villain edit right a lot of them are the sweetest people i've ever right. met and they're a really supportive community especially after the show came out i'm not gonna lie i was really not handling it well <laughs> i handled it like i mean i was just drinking maybe a whole <laughs> <laughs> like a bottle of gin per day and like would wake up crying like it was bad. And it was to a point where I was so not. So any of the gin companies that want to sponsor, sponsor. my show, just we, we don't, we we're not going to say any, any, <laughs> any labels. No names. Like, no names. But yes, I would drink a whole bottle. And then, um, you know, after a while, I was just like, you know, I need healthier coping mechanisms. And the villain reality community is small but mighty mm -hmm. and they reached out to me they all opened their arms to me they were all super supportive and sweet and they were like you know you'll get through this and it was it was great honestly but there were a lot of reality stars and I'm not gonna name names that got super famous that treated me horribly horribly and I think that it's like a lot of like okay like who are you right. to judge me in any type of way because have you been on any other shows besides this show? Um, no. This is your first one. So it was my first show. Um, you know, would I be open to doing another one? Sure. But it, it would have to, the circumstances would have to be right. Let me take these off for a second. That's it. Ooh. Let me be real with you, Jen. <laughs> I'm ready to be real. I'm taking my glasses off. Are we off ready to be too. real? Let's be real, sister. Let's, Let's be go. real. Let's, Let's be real. Go. I'm ready to hear it. Um, I think that a lot of people in the reality community could benefit from a reality check. Mm. Mm. I and I pretty much have to agree with that. I think you I know those. I think you know a few of them. Mm. Probably. Yeah. It's I know a lot. Yeah. And I think that it's it's very easy to get caught up in it. It is. It's easy. And I, I try to, to be the same person that I was when it started, even though, you know, seeing yourself back on camera is like looking in a mirror. And sometimes you don't always like what you no. see. And did you feel like that a lot after you watched the show? Um, it was hard because I watched it with my boyfriend, who we're still together. We met on the show. Um, and it was hard because— so I think that that's what screws a lot of people up. When they look yeah. back and look at how they acted or behaved, oh, yeah. they, it's, that's hard to take in. Because that, yeah. that is, it's like, wow, you're really, like, putting that in front of your face. Like, yeah. like I acted like this. I look like an asshole. Like, yeah. I, like, I, I, that would be hard. And then you can never take it back because it's out there for every, forever. Yeah. So that you can never take it back. And listen, I say, that's like, where, you know, I never like I to blame it. editing on anything. But, of course, you don't get the full story, right? No, of like, course not. You have to take really everything that you see with a grain of salt. But Always. when you're looking at yourself objectively, you're like, oh, yeah, shit. It's kind of cringeworthy. Yeah. I see well, even with me when I've shows I've been on, I can't watch myself because I want to cringe. Ah. Like I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe I made that face. Oh my God, I can't believe oh I my that God. Like, oh my God, I can't Imagine your that. face just literally looking like this, <laughs> being just like across, yeah. like, and literally someone kisses me on the nose. <laughs> and like I make I have the stupidest little look on my face, and it's like everywhere. Well, let the, let, tell everybody what the show is about so they get the premise of the show. Okay. Since so we know that you're the villain, which is the most important probably yes. prospect of the show. That's so all you really them, needed. Let, yes, that you know she's the villain. And a, be a gorgeous villain. At ah! that. It's like Catwoman. It's like beautiful. Preach. Preach. On yes. the show, I was definitely. Um, are you? Are the, are, I think you're like Halle Berry Cat, Catwoman. 
Ooh, yes. I think that's my yes. Halloween outfit. Oh my god, you need to totally dress We're up gonna, like that. And cat, I'm gonna dress up as a cat too this year. <gasps> Let's be cats. <laughs> I love to. Uh, I, we'll even sing the song. Together. We'll yes. sing the the whole Broadway. Okay, we'll definitely catalog. Do it. Yes, Jellicoe cats come out tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, but yes, the premise of the show is basically um, six of us, um, you know, three girls, three guys. We all had people from our past, so not necessarily exes, but people that we mm-hmm. may have wanted to connect with at some point in our past come through what was called the portal. Right. Hilarious concept. Um, but it was beautifully done. And they would just come and so this is an ex relationship that you've kind of left in the past, but they brought it back to like it's something that like so it's like the one who got away, literally. Okay, like the one who got away. And for me, a lot of these guys were not anybody that I was ever romantically involved with, right? Like, were you shocked with the person they brought through? Well, the first few people were definitely. It, it was definitely giving random, like, Facebook. You know the guy that, like, goes into your Facebook right. messages and just messages you, and you're like, when will he stop messaging me? Like and That was one of the guys they picked? Oh, definitely. my God. You wanted to, like, like borderline stalker? I like called basic. him a gnome, and it wasn't well received. Um, But to be fair, he did come out of, like, a fairy forest. <laughs> and I never said that I didn't look like a giant. <laughs> So you got in trouble for saying no. I, I don't see did. why it's a it's a ca- it's a caricature. It's I mean, not it's even a literally real thing. Th- it's like calling somebody a fairy godmother. Like, yeah. why would people gotta stop being so offended? It's over. like being offended so at the saying, title. He was short, like Snow White he, he was and the vertic- Seven Dwarves. He like was ver- he was vertically challenged, is what you're saying. You know, I mean, you are like. Like six foot nine. Yeah, like, so my I mean, barometer so, is very unfair. Like, 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 you have to go out with a basketball player to like level the playing field. Well, I that's mean, what I found. So, <gasps> is that what you're dating now? On the show. Okay, if you haven't seen oh, it. I, I want to see it. I don't want to spoil it. This. But oh, do give a little spoiler. Come on, little little spoiler. I mean, it's been out. Uh, if you haven't seen it now, then uh, and it's on Hulu, right? Uh, Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. Okay. Prime Video. Um, if you haven't, I seen get them it, all confused. Okay, whatever. It's a spoiler. I end up with um, a basketball player. He's really beautiful. And we've been together for two years. And, you know, sometimes you can find love on television. And, and so you're still worked. with him? We're still together. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Now, is this so, now, tell me about him. So he came back from the past. Did you? How long did you date him? Did you ever date him? Or was it just somebody that you were kind of interested in that you never, it never, it never came to pass? Uh, we did not date in high school. <laughs> it was so he's from high school. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. He's that's a great school. story. That's and, a great story to tell your children. Oh, yeah. It was cute. And our families were like friends. So it was it was weird that we weren't more close than we, you know, than before we met. Mm-hmm. But it was just a beautiful unfolding. And there's something to be said about somebody who, like, comes from your hometown. Yeah. Like, we like all the same sure. stuff. We're our family. It's familiar. Yeah. It's comforting. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's a person that feels like yeah. home. Literally. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it, honestly, who, most people date or marry mm-hmm. people that are from their familiar, familiar yeah. areas, m- m- most of them, because you do know the person, you know their background, mm-hmm. you know where they're from, you know where they went to high. And yeah, that's a beautiful thing. That's a yeah. great story. I love and that. It was, it was like fast. We immediately. That's the way it should have been. It was, it was beautiful. After you our date. together? No, no. We're actually long distance right now. Okay. Well, that's good. It's good. I, I think, think these nice. days is good because then you get to miss somebody. You yeah, know, which is nice. How old are you? I'm 25. You're still you're still a baby. I mean, Thanks. and it's no offense to your generation, <laughs> but I, I 25 to me to what was was to me was I had a house. I had three kids already. I was at, yeah, I was yeah, I was out of my house at 18. Like, you know, this just doesn't happen anymore. You know, I, yeah. And women, I think, have it harder than men because they have to have their whole life mapped out. It's like, mm-hmm. okay, they have to finish high school, they have to go to college, they have to start a career, they, they have to have, they get married, they have to have kids. So yep. in a shorter period of time, they have to get all these things, you know, done. For men, they could be a little bit lax. It's not as, yeah. it's not as, as you know, as pressure. It's not much pressure on them as it is on us. Exactly. You know, and 
listen, let's be honest. Two people do have to work these days to get nice things, unless yeah. you're marrying a billionaire. Which, but most people still want to have their own identity and work. But let's face yeah. it. Who wants? Not, not saying anything bad about the housewives. You know, no. I don't want. I was a housewife too at one point. I aspire to be a housewife. Yes, but so, but at some point you will still want to have your own identity. I would still have my own thing. identity. I would never want to give a man so much power over me to where right. he can be like, "This is my house." Well. You, you know, this is all my stuff. I I own you. Basically. You want to you want to build it together. Yeah, and say I had a, I had participated in it. I mean, that's, and At that's a, but part. that's a help with the healthy relationship. Exactly. You know. Exactly. And even though if you are home taking care of the kids, that's a big people don't realize, and they say it's old fashioned. Mm -hmm. That's how you help your relationship. You if you're at home taking care of your children and 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 preparing them for the for life and preparing them for for the world. I mean, let's face it. A lot of people are homeschooling their kids these days. That is not easy. Yeah. No. That is so difficult. So it's a big part. And that's where when women and men, you know, they have to compliment each other and they have to do it. And I don't think it's yeah. old fashioned by saying that. And believe me, I'm a strong woman. I still oh, want yeah. my door open for me. I still want somebody to do to, Listen, to treat me like a lady. I want my man to pay for dinner. Yes. And I don't thank want you. to be annihilated on the internet for saying it. Like right. Yes. I agree with you. And I think women should be women. And it's not okay for us to be women and want us. Because honestly, that's a man putting us on a pedestal and where we should be. Exactly. We need to have that. You know, oh, we're, we're like. And it's not anti-feminist No. And no, because the feminists today are not feminists. They, they, they're they men haters. Well, and I don't hate men. At this point in time. Yeah, it's not like from feminism. the 1960s. It's not feminism. It's just, it's an ideology that's a bad ideology. Yeah. And I think it's hurting girls today. And mm -hmm. that's the problem. Mm -hmm. That is a big problem for exactly. your generation. Yeah. But I kind of think that the next, I think that you pe people in your generation and the next one mm -hmm. is starting to realize that. Yeah. Because it's not, it's not working. I think it's not that working we're, this way. we're sick of a lot of the ideals that were kind of force fed to us. Oh, you don't want to have children. Oh, that's not right. You need to have a career. No, maybe mm -hmm. I don't want to work 80 hours a week. Maybe yeah. I want to work. 30 and have a nice career, but be home with my kids and make a mm -hmm. home and have a family. Or but other that's passions. What, and other passions. Yeah. But that's what we're supposed that's what we were created for. I exactly. mean that that is our that is our in our DNA. I mean that's what we were made. That's why, you know, we want find a mate. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. And yeah. every and every aspect of the animal kingdom is that way. That's you know, true. You find your partner, you have you raise a family, you have children. I mean, that's mm -hmm. normal. So I think yeah. that they thrusting this non normalcy and it's not for women to be, you know, this. It's not, that doesn't mean you're not a strong woman because you don't want to work 90 hours a week and be a head of a hedge fund. I mm -hmm. mean, that's you're giving up your life to do that, you yeah. know. And then what do you have at the end of the day after you retire? Well, nothing. Yeah, you're just cuddling your paperwork. Exactly. And your there money. You, go. you can't cuddle your money. No. Exactly. And you can't take it I mean, with you, you can either. You cuddle your Chanel bags. Yeah, of course. Well, <laughs> and I cuddle them every night. I say, oh, thank you. I kiss them. I I'm very romantically looks, involved with them. I love looking I at them Me right too. before I pleasure myself. <laughs> it's one of my favorite pastimes. <laughs> I, I love think, it. I love it too. It's love. the best. I I was just saying in my last show, I said I'd like to go shopping more now than having sex. I get multiple orgasms when I go to Gucci. Now. Oh my I'm god! Like, oh. Even the online I'm shopping is like, shuddering. It's like oh. online porn for me. Yeah, I'm just like oh, Birkin. Ooh, baby. Yes. Gets me so. Wet. I love. It. I love it. So what are what are what is your favorite designer? Since my you are designer. since you are a model too. Oh my god, I don't want to exclude anyone. Okay. No, your or your go to. Like if you if you like, where would you? What's the first? If you're walking down walking down a street in Manhattan, what would be the first store you would go into? Um. So I'm a really big Alice and Olivia girl. Okay. I love them. Um. I mean, listen, Nordstrom's, Bergdorf's. Has my heart. I love multiple designers. Um, lately, I've just been rocking like my Laquan Smith jumpsuits. Mm -hmm. They're my favorite. And I mean, have you seen the collections lately? Listen, I love to keep my style simple. Simple. Well, that's the way to keep it. My but, grandmother was a designer, and she always really? said, yes, she was. She was a designer. She worked for Henry Bendel. She worked for Liz Claiborne. She worked for um, Oscar de la Renta. And mm -hmm. she always said, she said, you don't have to have a lot of clothes. You just have to have 
uh, certain pieces mm -hmm. and you can interchange them. And yes. she would hate if we wore something that said like Tommy Hilfiger across. Oh no, She's I like, hate you're it. advertising them. That she goes, yes. it was she thought it was so tacky and so tasteless and to wear to wear that. Yes. You know, it it kind of is and if you think I about do, it. I appreciate this new movement of having just high end like quiet luxury. Yes. I quiet agree. luxury is my jam because I think and I'm gonna get so much flack for this. Because my boyfriend loves these. Like, there's just, like, really obvious prints on things, right? right. Like, a really big, like, Gucci print on, like, a T-shirt. It's kind of a turn I, can't, I, I don't like it. It's, I think it's too much just, like, saying, hey, look at me, look at me. Like, I have enough money to buy this. Like, I'm more inclined to think that it's fake. And most people who don't have money mm -hmm. are wearing stuff like this. So yes. it's, like, it became something that's luxury, and they brought it down. To, it's not, but, it, but, yeah, but it's not it for everybody. Yeah, then it ghetto it, high fashion. It's, but it's not for everybody. Yeah. It wasn't created to be for everybody. Exactly. That's it. It's created for people who can spend that you know and if yeah. you have a piece it's like your piece that's like you keep in like your closet and you look at it and you mm -hmm. pet it every once in a while and you yeah, hold it and you cuddle it and you rock it you know, yeah oh, I love that <laughs> beautiful and I, I like and I like simple things too but I can also rock something that's designer but yet I can wear you know a twenty dollar shirt and people are like oh my and God. it looks fabulous right you know you but still you look can make very very expensive right, right. And that's that, like my new affirmation. I am luxury. You, you, you're the luxury. You're the one. You, you make it look luxury. Yes, that's it. Has the nothing to do with what no. you're wearing. Because you could wear because something that's luxury. designer and it could look like shit. Honestly, like literally, like, right? Because some things yeah. are not meant for certain body types. You know, so or just you know, if you don't have the confidence to carry it off. No. I think that you should maybe go to Forever 21. <laughs> <laughs> Which nothing's wrong with a no, Forever 21 moment. I can I rock love outfits from Forever 21 too, and listen, I've done it. $20 and dresses from Forever 21 that I can just throw up in are yeah. literally like. And they look so much different on you than somebody else, honestly. I like, mean, you know, if you're wearing it, they're like, oh, you know, I mean, it's who's, it's who's wearing it. True. It, it's the truth. That's very true. It is true. Yes. You know, and, and I, I find that throughout my life, and believe me, I've. Like I said, I wear I wear from Gucci to Target. I don't care. I go to Target. Listen, and I, I love Target. I love Target too. Yes. I too. I like I like Marshalls in certain areas too. Ooh. I'm I'm saying all these names that I shouldn't say, but ah! it's a pet in certain in certain in. But it sometimes it's just so confusing and everything's just shoved together. I get crazy and with I have things ADHD. Like that. I, I can't. can't do I it. can't sit in a store like and I don't try anything on. I just take it and I bring it home. I and if I don't like it, trying stuff on. I hate it. I usually wind up never returning it and I just give it to somebody. It's yeah. bad because I'm like, why am I going to go all the way back to stand online to return this? It was like twenty dollars. Like there are somebody else will wear it. Quite exactly. Right. Like ugh, I, I get hate. To, People will never believe me, but I hate shopping that much. Yeah, I don't. I love shopping, but I can't. I don't like. I trying like to shit point on. and pick. I want. To, I want that. I want point that. Give it to me. Give it to me. Boom, boom. Yep, put it yep. in the bag. I'm out of here. Yep. That's it. Exactly. And that's it. And if I don't like it, either I'll bring it back, or it'll I'll, just be shoved in the closet. It'll somewhere. be shoved in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you, it was so exciting for you to be here today. I was and, exciting to meet you and finally. I was, and it's funny how we actually met because you were on the show with uh, with a mutual friend. Yes, but you were following me before you yes. even got on the show with him, and and then it's like such a small world. It was like a dream of mine to actually <laughs> meet you, which is crazy. Oh my god, no, it was a dream of mine to meet you because oh, you're so god. beautiful. You are a dream. You're beautiful. You're a dream. No, no, you're. Oh my god, we just keep. We're just gonna on. like lick each other's each other. buttholes for the rest of the show. <laughs> Quite literally. I love you to death. Jen. I love you too. Literally. You're awesome. And now you got to come to me now. We're gonna and do some, yes, we're and gonna we're going to get margaritas afterwards. I would love to. I would have to drink virgin margaritas. Yes. So. Oh, yes. I forget. <laughs> I'm supposed to be off the sauce, but it's not working for me. It's all right. You're still young. You could be on the <laughs> sauce. You still have some years left in you. Maybe one. Maybe one. Maybe one year. How old are you again? 26? 25. 25. Yeah. You still got time. <laughs> still got time. So I was so happy to have you on the show. I'm and I hope you come here. back again. I, I would love, love to hear, that. and I hope the next time you come back, you're on it either on another show. Maybe you'll be like the 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 not the villain anymore. Maybe you'll be the the, the I'll never be the victim. Oh yeah. Which will be the I'll never be a victim. Baby. Never, nobody ever be. A victim. I'll still be sassy, but maybe just a little. But you'll more just classy. be like the sassy, classy girl on the show. Yeah, uh -huh. that would be fun. Always I think it would be fun. You're yeah. all, and you are a lot of fun. Uh, you're a lot of fun. No, you are. We've so got we to hang keep out. I know we have to hang out. out <laughs> we again. have to hang out again. <laughs> We should go shopping together. We should go shopping. I love that.
<laughs> well, thank you so much for being on the show. And everybody have a great day. Thanks for having You're me. You're welcome.